Hello, Helen here. Welcome to my Christmas card series for 2018. Today I'm making two cards. They're each going to use the positive and negatives of a poinsettia corner die by Memory Box. And I start off with two card bases that are 5 and 11 16th inches or 14 and a half centimetres. And then a card panel that's been cut out with a stitched square die that is 13.2 centimeters or five and a quarter inches and later I swap out one of those white card panels to a black one just to give a different effect. I'm going to use the corner die to cut out two of the corners one in gold mirror card and one in silver mirror card and then I'm while it's in the die I'm going to run it through and emboss it with an embossing mat and when I take the die off the, each of the um, cards I'm going to make sure that I save all the poinsettia petals for, from each of them so the outline um, uh, die cut and also the petal, poinsettia petals I'm not keeping any of the filler pieces in between I've skipped all the part of me getting all the pieces out of the die. It was quite an intricate die so it took a little while so I wasn't going to bore you with all that part. So what I'm left with is a silver corner die with the poinsettia petals from that die and also a set of gold. And what I'm going to do is just swap over the silver and the gold outline part of the die and then I'm going to start putting it on to my card panels but before I do that I'll just stamp my um, sentiment so I'm going to stamp the a silver sentiment on the black card panel and a gold one on the wh white panel. I'm using this Kaiser Craft stamp set that I used a lot last year's series um, it's called Yuletide and it's got some really good um, sentiments in it so I'm going to use two different ones um, so I'm going to use my Misty to do the stamping. So I'll stamp with Versamark sticky ink and then on the white panel I'll use gold embossing powder and on the black one I'll use silver embossing powder and then I'll heat set them once I've done both of them.
Now that I've finished stamping the sentiment, so I can put the die cuts onto the front panels. So I'm going to put the silver outline onto the black card with the silver um, embossing. So I'll stick that down by using the applicator bottle with some glue that dries clear and matte so you won't see it if it squishes out. So I'm just doing some um, glue all over. It's quite delicate. And then I'll stick that down onto the um, card panel. I realised that my applicator bottle is just about empty and that is the last of the glue that I've got. Um, I bought a couple of bottles of Cosmic Shimmer glue, oh, it would be almost five years ago and it's lasted me this long. It goes a long, long way so I think I'll have to look at getting some more glue. I might try that, um, the new Nouveau glue because it looks like it's got a very good um, fine tip on the end so I'll maybe try a couple of different glues just to see whether I can find another glue that's just as good. What I do to make sure that it's all stuck down is I pop it underneath my craft mat um, just for a few minutes just to press it down and make sure all of it is stuck to the card and I'll go on with the, putting the gold onto the white card. The next thing I'm going to do is just piece all the poinsettia petals back into the die cut. So I'm going to be putting this gold into the silver and the silver into the gold and just gluing them back in. If I get glue on top of the petals it wipes off very easily.
last thing to do is stick some craft foam onto the back of my panel. I've put double sided tape on both sides of that craft foam. So I'll stick that down on the card panel and then stick the panel down on my card base. And that's the card finish and then I'll just go ahead and do the same for the, the white card. With the spare card panel that I started off with at the beginning I ended up cutting one, another silver die cut out and then cut the same corner out of the white panel and then ended up making this embedded card similar to the one that I've just done so it's just another variation of the same idea. thought I'd show you that. I'll leave you looking at some photos of the cards that I've made today and at the end there'll be a couple of videos that you might be interested in, also Christmas cards. Please subscribe by clicking the picture of me if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time for the next Christmas card. Bye for now.